Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. The process of conversion of temperature difference into potential difference and vice versa is referred as thermoelectric effect. Seebeck effect, Peltier effect, and the Thomson effect are the examples of thermoelectric effects. In this video, we are going to learn about Seebeck effect with the help of few experiments. Seebeck discovered that in a closed circuit consisting of two different metals, when the junctions are maintained at different temperature, an EMF is developed in the closed circuit. The current that flows in the circuit due to EMF is uh, referred as thermoelectric current and uh, the circuit is called as thermocouple. Here I have made this uh, thermocouple using iron and the copper wire. I have connected the ends together. They form junction. Now I am going to measure the EMF developed. Now before that let me tell you one thing. The magnitude of EMF developed here depends on the type of metal used and it also de uh, depend on the difference in the temperature between the junction. I take a thermocouple in which I have removed the junction. I am going to connect these two ends across multimeter to measure the EMF. For that I am going to use two crocodile clips. Then the ends of the crocodile clip are connected to multimeter probes. Red and black probe. Now I will set the multimeter to read voltage. The multimeter is set to read voltage up to 200 millivolt. Now I will heat this junction with the help of a homemade spirit lamp. I lit this uh, spirit lamp. Okay. So look at this. I am going to heat this uh, junction. Look at the, the multimeter. The EMF has increased. It has reached 0 0.9 millivolt. Now, when the temperature difference is reducing, the EMF is also reducing. Earlier it was 0 0.9 millivolt. Now it is keep reducing. This shows that the EMF developed depends on difference in the temperature between the junctions. I will keep it aside. I have one more thing with me. This device that I am holding in my hand is known as Peltier plate. It consists of large number of thermocouples connected in series. So definitely it is going to produce more EMF compared to these two thermocouples. So I am going to change the range. I have set the multiple to read up to 20 volt. Now I will connect the ends of this filter plate to this crocodile clip.
Now I will hold this using tweezer. Now I am going to heat this end. And this end will be at the room temperature. See what happens when I do so. As I am heating this, the air is keep increasing. Now it has reached one point. Now it's keep increasing. It has reached one point nine six. And it's keep increasing. You can see. Okay. The air has uh, reached almost around two volt. Now, when I stop the heating. The temperature difference has reduced now, so the EMF is also reducing. Now I will invert this. I am going to heat the. Okay, I'll do one thing. I am going to change the junctions now. Earlier I, I was heating this end, now I heat this end. If I do so, let's see. let me show you what happened. When I reverse the junction, you can observe now the EMF is shown in negative. This shows that Seebeck effect is a reversible effect. When you interchange the junction, the direction of current changes. It is obvious from this experiment. Okay, now I will use the, this filter plate which consists of large number of thermocouples connected in series to charge my mobile. I have connected my mobile to a voltage booster. Whatever voltage this uh, filter plate provide will be boosted up by this uh, circuit to uh, 5 volt DC. Let me check whether this battery plate can able to charge my mobile or not. And uh, remove the battery plate from the multimeter. I keep this uh, multimeter aside. Connect the red wire to white crocodile clip and black to green crocodile clip. Now I will connect the other end of crocodile clip to the positive and negative terminals of this. Uh, booster circuit which in turn connected to the mobile phone with the help of this data cable this charging cable now the connection is made i will hold this with the help of tweezer i am going to heat the one end of one junction one side of this uh, filter plate then for better visibility, I am going to hold this in my hand. You see, I am heating now. Let us check whether this can able to charge my mobile or not. Now you can observe, it has started charging my mobile. So, the aim of generated here is sufficient to charge a mobile. This shows that the difference in the temperature can be converted into potential difference. We call the phenomena as thermoelectric effect. And what we have learned in this video is nothing but Seebeck effect.
Now we will discuss some of the applications of Seebeck effect. Seebeck effect is used in Seebeck or thermoelectric generators, which is used to convert waste heat produced in power plants into electricity. Seebeck effect is also used in automobiles. As automotive thermoelectric generator to increase the fuel efficiency. Apart from this, Seebeck effect is used in thermocouple as well in uh, thermopiles. To measure the temperature difference between two objects, these are some of the applications of Seebeck effect. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.